Account condition describes any condition you need measured primarily as an each, such as windows, columns, pad footings, or vents. To create a condition, navigate to the Conditions panel on the left side of the screen and click on the blue plus sign icon in the bottom left corner. This opens the Condition Properties window. In this window, you define the condition's name and dimensions, as well as indicate the quantity results on which you want to report for the condition. There are five basic information fields at the top and some tabs below for more information. Let's start by discussing those five fields at the top. Begin by choosing the appropriate style from the Style dropdown. In this case, let's choose Count. It is vitally important that you choose the correct style for the item you're trying to build because the style defines what dimensions and quantity results you can establish for the condition. Next, give the condition a name. You can put as much detail as you want in the name, but keep in mind that there is a notes field at the bottom where you can enter more detailed assembly information. After you name the condition, you can assign a type. A type is simply a category you can assign to help organize conditions together with other like conditions. You can either type an option into the field or you can click the magnifying glass icon to the right to select a type that has already been entered into your database table. Beneath the type field is the layer field. Here, you can assign the condition to a specific layer. Layers then allow you to hide or display specific conditions as needed. See the video on layers for more details. The last of the five fields at the top displays a condition number. This number automatically populates and increases by one with each new condition that you create but you do have the ability to enter a custom number if needed. Now, let's take a look at the fields located within the General tab, starting with the Dimension fields. Count conditions allow you to indicate a height, a width, and depending on the shape you choose, a depth. The Shape drop-down list is on the right side of the window. Be mindful of which shape you choose. For example, area and volume are calculated differently for a cylindrical column than they would be for a squared column. Use the Height field to indicate how tall or deep an item is. Remember that on-screen takeoff reads the last two digits of a dimension field as inches. So, for example, if you're creating a 30-foot deep pier, you would enter 3,000 in the Height field. And when you press Enter, OST would read that as 30 feet, 0 inches. Then, enter the width of the object in the same fashion. If you selected a shape such as a rectangle, you can also enter a depth. The Appearance section allows you to designate how the condition displays when you take it off on the plans. First, you can assign a color for the condition by clicking on the color box. A variety of basic colors display, but you can also select from custom colors along the right. Once you've selected your preferred color, then you can indicate a desired pattern. You have multiple options, with transparent appearing the most like a highlighter or colored pencil where you can still see the plan behind the takeoff. Once you've set how you want the condition to display, you can choose up to three different quantity results for each condition. The first result for a count condition always defaults to count, measured as an each, but there are a variety of other results you can choose from within the drop-down field. This list includes the aforementioned count option, as well as options for total height, perimeter, a variety of surface area options, and volume. This list is unique to count style conditions, and you can select from these options for any of the three quantity result fields. Once you indicate the quantities on which you want to report, be sure to indicate the correct unit of measure to the right of each one. At the bottom of the window, you can add notes for your condition. This allows you to more easily distinguish similar items from each other and indicate specific assembly or construction details to help you price the item out later. In most cases, this is all the information you need to enter for your condition. Note, however, that there are more options available for you within the Advanced tab. If you're using the Digital Production Control product, you'll also have a Labor Codes tab available. Consult the User Guide for more information on the options within these tabs. Select OK to save your changes and close the Condition Properties window. The condition you created now displays within the Conditions panel on the left side of the screen. You can then select the condition and begin performing takeoff. 